So I had someone leave a comment and ask if I would be willing to make a video about how I curl my hair. So sure, I would have no problem doing that. So I'm going to show you guys how I curl my hair. And then I'll be back to the regular sewing content. Okay, so I washed my hair this morning and I let it air dry. And this is how it is just hanging straight. And this is the back. Am I in the frame? Yeah, okay. So that's the back of my hair. And what I like to use are called wrap -a lock tools. And they have three sizes. There's a little bitty size, which I don't have. And then this is the medium size. And then there is the much longer large size. So I just have the medium and the large. And those are the only two sizes that I use in my hair. And from time to time, I will sometimes take each strand and wrap it around one tool. I have done that. It does take forever. So I've started recently doing something different and I realized I like the results even better. So what I have purchased is a ton of these tools. I have like a, a lot. I purchase them over time, just a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. What I do is sometimes I will use just one and if I use just one, I'll show you what it looks like. Since my hair is dry, I have a water bottle and there's nothing in here except water. And I'll spritz, I'll do just one to show you how one looks like. So I just spritz it, make it to where it's wet. And if I'm doing one, if it's not too long, I'll use a medium size. And I just take it, take my hair, wrap it around this tool. And I try to do it in a spiral. I try, oh, try not to make it overlap if I can help it. Try to keep it together and then I'll just go all the way up to the top. So that's one. And then it'll stay like this and I'll just do every one like that. What I typically do or what I started doing recently is grabbing like two or three strands of hair and they're not all even as you can see some of these are longer and then some of these are shorter this is a short one this these two are long but I'll just wrap them the best I can so I'll start at the bottom start wrapping then when I get to a decent point, I'll take this one and wrap it in there so that I can get them all together and then I'll just wrap all the way up to the top. Or this, I really like this tool because it's very flexible. So it just bends, you can bend it and fold it so I love this. This has been my tool of choice. So I will go ahead and do, sometimes I'll grab four. I just grab, you know, I don't really have a rhyme or reason to it unless I'm doing each one on one, each little strand on one. Otherwise, I just grab a couple and I'll do the same thing, wet and roll. Let me find this one. I'll probably use a long one. Go down to the bottom, wrap around, roll it up. Till I get to the top. And there you go. That's how it looks up close. And I will go ahead and do each little section and then I will come back and show you the finished curled up look.
Okay, so I am all done. It took me approximately an hour. And like I said, these are flexible, so you can like bend them so that they're not sticking up in any weird way if you don't want them to. So you can shape them or whatever, especially for like when you sleep, it's nice that you can kind of move them around and make them comfortable. And I'll show you what it looks like in the back. Hope you can see, yeah, yeah. So what I am going to do is sleep on this and then I will come back tomorrow, take them out and let you see what they look like. And for the most part, I just did, I did this one with one and then for the others, I did mostly two or three strands on one curler. So yeah, that's it. I mean, there may be some that had more than that, but for the most part, the majority were done with two or three. So let's see what this looks like in the morning. curlers out and this can actually be a style by itself I'll show you the back and I have taken the curlers out and worn my hair like this and it will fall over time but what I typically do is I will separate the curls so like I said this is one look so I'll show you that and then I will, I will oh let me show you too this is what it looks like if I just put one curler on one lock it just looks like this and this is like two so then if I have two or more then I will oh this was three actually then I will just separate the curls so I will pull all the ones that were put together I will go ahead and start pulling them apart and that will make my hair look fuller I do like this look and typically I will just wear this for a couple days but for the sake of showing you what it looks like I will go ahead and separate everything now and my hair will fall the curls will start to fall a little bit each day each week so I end up having like a different look as the time goes on and just some questions that I wanted to answer just in case anybody is curious. I have been locked for eight years. So I've been growing my hair for eight years. I started my locks myself and I maintain and keep up with my hair myself. I started my locks with two strand twists. This is actually my third set of locks and this is the set that I've had the longest. I do like to color my hair and I just use box color that you can find like at a drugstore. 
I really like Clairol textures and tones and the color I go back to often is I wrote it down flaming desire it's kind of a red color the last time I put this color in my hair I did mix two different colors together so I mixed the flaming desire reddish kind of color with a blonde kind of color and I just did that like a couple weeks ago okay so that's one side so you can tell the difference and then now I will go ahead and separate this side I do retighten my hair with a latch hook as opposed to palm rolling my hair. And let me look at the time. So it took me about 35 minutes to take the curlers out. And yesterday, after I washed my hair, it took me about, I think approximately an hour to actually put the curlers in my hair. So this can be a long process between washing, curling, <clears throat> letting the hair dry and taking the curlers out. Now I have done it in one long process where, not long process, but in one process where I wash my hair and then I curl it right away while it's soaking wet. That took forever to dry. And I have a hooded dryer. So when I did, did do that, I sat under the hooded dryer, but I got so tired of sitting under that dryer. I got out of it and I patted my hair and I thought it was dry. But then when I actually started to take the curlers out, it was really only damp in some places. And so I had some curls that were tight and some that were loose and it was a mess. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I think from now on I will just dampen my hair with a spray bottle and then just curl it like that. So that has been my routine. And this is my go-to style. I really like it. I wear it often. <clears throat> I don't really wear my hair straight very much because I like the, the volume that the curls give. I think I got them all. So this is the final look. And I will show you the back. So that is my curling process. So if you have any questions, leave them below. Before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So something I learned recently was how to wash your makeup brushes and makeup applicators in the washing machine. So I picked up this mesh bag that I purchased from Walmart. And it's nice because it has a zipper on it. And I found this in the laundry section. And they had different kinds, some with like smaller holes or what it looks like almost no holes in it. But I like this one. So you just throw your brushes in there, throw your applicators in there, zip it up, and throw the whole bag in the washing machine. I just put a little bit of detergent and the brushes and applicators came out so nice. It was just wonderful. So I wanted to share that with you just in case you want to try it out. Easy peasy.